Hello, welcome everybody. I've got a Father's Day project for you all today. Um, it's June and it is this month, so um, I thought we'd better get cracking on some projects. So I've got this cute box for you. Um, the box obviously you can use any time of year. It's a great one to have in your um, crafting uh, knowledge. And the the uh, top dad and moustache there is a cut file that I have created for you and I'll pop the link in the description below. I've, uh, that's on Cricut uh, Design Space. But yeah, it cuts um, the moustache separately so you'll find that and then it will cut the letters to glue over the top. So obviously you can do that in any combination of colours so that is free for you to download and um, yeah for the actual box you're going to need uh, two pieces of card uh, under there haven't I? I want black card you're going to need two pieces of A4 card um, and a paper trimmer that scores or a separate scoreboard if your paper trimmer guillotine does not score uh, you'll need a bone folder to just um, secure your score lines and some adhesive as well I've you're going to need for the for decorating you're going to need five square um, pieces of card and they measure six six and a half by six and a half centimeters and then the patterned paper is six by six and then the rectangles are six and a half by one and a half with the patterned paper six by one centimeters so you'll need four four of those and then five because you need one for the top as well um, that and the pattern paper I'm using is uh, this grunge light tones from the craft consortium I love this I use this quite a bit and um, yeah you've got this sort of they're almost like ready-made backgrounds double-sided paper kind of cool so that's what I used for those. Um, oh, this, I'll just show you a couple of other car, uh, box examples. So that's using brown and green, so not the, the box all in one colour. And then I've got white uh, square laid there as well. And then instead of using the card, I've just got the um, I've just got the uh, patterned paper measuring six and a half by six and a half without an additional layer. So that's another way to go and so you can do it any color combination use this all year round so inside this one I mean you can just put some treats in there you could probably fit a tie and some socks if you rolled them you could put a gift card in there with some chocolates so yeah it's, it's a nice it's a bit deeper than some of the little boxes that I've made before put lots of treats in there so let's pop these to one side for a moment and we'll get started on making the box so I'll just bring my trimmer in I'll do the main box part first which is 21 by 21 centimeters pull that out so go to 21 now it's already 21 across so I don't need to do any more with that and then I may as well just cut the, um, the lid as well so your lid is 11 and a half by 11 and a half centimeters Take the main box piece again, which was 21 by 21 centimetres, and I'm going to score that at 14 centimetres all the way around. So 
14 centimeters all the way around. Okay. I'll just do one at a time. We'll do the lid in a moment. Let's work on this first. So this is what you're left with. Basically got a square with nine squares. And we're gonna take away these outer four squares. What I'll do first actually is I'll just reinforce those score lines. I'm just using a bone folder. So if you're not familiar with making boxes or 3D craft items, you're basically telling the fibres of the card where you want them to go. So you've given this box an idea already of what you want it to do and you've you've made the job so much easier for yourself by making those um, score lines more reinforced because everything's going to fold much more easily especially if you've got a thicker card so I'm going to cut into these and I'm going to make a little tab if you cut up here I'll show you first So you were to cut that and you would go in there. This would make a box perfectly okay, but you're gonna end up with a lot of bulk. So. We're gonna make tabs instead. I'm not, as you can see, being particularly precise. The idea is that you just got tabs that you can adhere your box together, like so. Okay, so I've done those two, I'm gonna just turn it around and do the other two. to make sure you're nice and flush into the corners. Okay, just going in at an angle, cutting across and coming back into that corner. Okay, and you're left with this shape. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so you can see how it's going to come together. Like so. So with these tabs now facing up, let me just tidy that up. going to add some um, tape to this. You could use a wet glue. I'm using Crafters Companion um, tape which is designed for box making. A stronger hold. So I'm just going to bring those sides up. your corners are all nice now you can just come inside the box there and just smooth over the tabs being a bit messy with my cutting as I always am on camera just do things at weird angles So that is the main box part done now. Let's work on our lid. 
So now we're going to take the, the box lid, which was cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and I'm going to score that at 9.4 centimeters all the way around. So, same thing again. Just letting that card know where you want it to go. Okay, so now we've got that nicely scored. So this one is um, obviously much smaller, so you haven't got that bulk, you haven't got those big squares. So I'm just going to do this one a little differently. This is another useful technique. So you're just going to cut in the same way as we did before, but there's really no need to make a tab. I'm just going to cut in with a notch and that just helps everything sit more flush together. So this is another useful thing to know for box making. If you ever see directions where it just asks you to cut up, I would always just cut in a little bit more. Okay, so it's just cutting in with a little notch. So they will come in like that. haven't got the bulk so that is perfectly um, enough there to hold it so let's grab a bit of tape let me just come over to this working side of my glass mat so I'm not going to get glue over my working area Bring the tabs in. Okay, so we now have a box with a lid. It fits a little bit loose just now, but when, once you've added your um, layers, that's going to be perfect. So I'm just going to swap tapes to the dot tape. And as I said, I've already um, pre-done the squares. But just a reminder, the squares are six and a half by six and a half for the card and six by six for the patterned paper. And you're just going to centre those up. If you want to see me cut six by six pieces of card and pattern paper, let me know in the comments. But I was making the assumption that you would live without that. Okay, nice and square. Just love this pattern paper. The only thing I do is I get a little bit um, in my head about matching the patterns which is crazy because it's sort of splodgy but just thinking about where it's placed and I have to just tell myself not to do that okay so let's do the side panels and then we'll finish the top of that dad so I had four of those and just to remind you of those these are six and a half centimeters by one and a half centimeters and the pattern paper is six by one Oops. and 
June is always a crazy month for me because it's my dad's birthday. He's 70 this year. Um, the day before my son's birthday. And then we have Father's Day within a couple of days of that. And lots of friends' birthdays as well. My son's girlfriend's birthday. She's going to be 18. So, yeah. June is the month where I need to be organised. So this should then, in theory, line up with your um, squares on the car on the box, making everything nice and smart. Let's test my theory. Okay, there you go. So now the final piece on the lid. cool isn't it so I've already put my um, piece together there I've also added <laughs> quite an array of foam pads here so I've cut into some foam pads there I mean you don't have to raise it up but I think it looks nice if it's kind of 3d um, so yeah excuse me while I just peel the backing off of these foam pads could of course use this you could decorate a beer bottle just you put a belly band around the beer bottle and then add this sentiment over the top you can use it on a card so I hope you have some fun with this um, cut file that I've designed for you so top dad on top Letters this nice and straight. And that's it. One little box ready made for Father's Day and to fill with treats or gift card or whatever you think the dad in your life would like. Thanks so much for watching. Everything that I've used will be linked in the description below. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that we can hang out again soon. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye bye.